Hello Fox, it's me again, another walk and talk. It's a very beautiful evening in this beautiful city, in this beautiful country. Yeah, it's summertime and it looks glorious in the evening. Look at that. In any case, today's topic is decision, decisions, decisions. Uh, the reason being, I have a very terrible decision making habit it's a very really big one for me and sometimes i question myself whether i am doing the right thing or not and i cannot figure out if i have the same problem if i had the same problem uh, growing up or if it came over time as maybe i made the terrible choices and i start to question my own ability to act on my decisions but I think it comes down to what this psychologist uh, Barry Schwartz Barry Schwartz psychologist he wrote a book the paradox of choice and in his book basically he does explain how uh, the more choices we do have especially in in consumer terms the more anxious we are about the choice we make so you go to a jeans shop or a butter shop and you have got a variety of shop of bread a variety of uh, jeans to choose from and you spend an enormous amount of time trying to pick up which one which material which size which um, shape i should say and um, and you get anxious even after choosing whether you really did choose the right one and so most people will go back actually to the shops and all of that and uh, his conclusion was uh, probably splitting individuals in terms of decision making uh, process into two groups okay a lot of noise some he called look how they built the brick houses actually not brick they called the brick veneer i did not know about this before i thought it was really brick when i look at the houses like those but some of these are just a sort of a veneer of brick um on a normal i don't know what's the other material but it must be sort of a wood and look at that and when they finish it's gonna look like that like a really brick house interesting anyhow the two groups uh, sorry for the disruption i love looking at the, the environment so there is the um, satisficer and the maximizer so the maximizer is the guy which is me who actually wants the best for his back like they try to make sure it's the best deal they can get for the money and it satisfies i will be like okay i have a thousand this mattress is good enough for that thousand it doesn't matter if they could cost 900 somewhere else i'm happy with this good enough and that's the sort of guy i want to be i need to be actually because i am on the other side i want to really maximize obviously when it comes to this little ex uh, consumerism i'm not a big spender so i don't i don't spend much to start with on those things but i still have to make a decision especially if it's a big item 500 plus you know a tv set and a bed and the mattress and we've got a variety of beds and the mattresses and form factors it is so hard to make your choice and to know even the quality the brandings all sorts of things that go into the decision making when you're buying stuff but for me sometimes not stuff it's other decision uh, i don't know uh, sometimes i have a course to to learn a language do i go java c sharp uh, when I, I went into it it took me months to decide between languages which one to go for and uh, i tried to narrow it to two languages java and c sharp but i couldn't decide which one to go for until a point where I went to this conference and this guy 
uh, I was in a conference or maybe I heard it on, on, on YouTube, I can't remember, but this guy said, it's like going to the gym. If you, 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 you are in a, two, in a city and there are two gyms and you are fighting with which one to go for, for months, you're not going to lose any weight, you're not going to get any fitter. What you have to do is just flip a coin if you want and uh, pick up one gym, go there. As you exercise, there are things you're going to not like perhaps and you, and you hear other people and they learn about gym equipment and you can decide whether that's your gym or you go to the other gym. But in the meantime, you are getting fit, you are losing some weight if that was your your objective, but you're doing something. Otherwise, you're not going to lose any weight by agonizing about the choices. So I said, oh, good point. I'm going to go with the C sharp because it sounds like a C, which I've probably touched a little bit during college years. But uh, that was the advice. But sometimes not as easy as that. So there are times where I've got a combination of things. Uh, say in the airline industry, when I want to fly somewhere, I have got a multiple choices. Obviously, I'm looking at the price, so I go with the cheapest. But sometimes the cheapest, you wake up 6 a.m. and if you are with the family, that's a bit of a pain. But even alone, at 6 a.m., that means it's an international flight. We could be there for each or less. So, uh, but that's the cheapest one, or it's the latest one, which is a little bit not worse, but there is a caveat to that. We might go with, I might go with the latest one uh, and arrive in a strange or a foreign city late and maybe I have to pay more in a taxi or even get lost at night. So whatever you save here, I get lost somewhere or sometimes it's a long layover somewhere in the middle of, uh, of your trips and, uh, or more hours to spend on this flat compared to the other, to the more expensive one. And you always, and I'm always comparing those things. Um, if uh, maybe I have spent seven hours at one airport instead of two hours, there's a five hours difference. What's that with in terms of money? I understand I don't want to stay longer than two hours at the airport. Seven hours is a pain. But if it saves me 600, shall I do it? What if it's 400, what's it 200, 150? Where is the line? So that sort of decision can get a little bit hard to make for me at least. Then comes the accommodation, which is also a big combination of things. Do you go hotel, motel, Airbnb, pros and the cons, and near city, not too far from the airport or too close to the airport. And all those decisions, have got other implications sometimes you stay too far away from the airport if it was for example for one night you're only saving 20 to 50 dollars but the taxi to and from the airport is 100 dollars so you didn't definitely save much so uh, kind of juggling between those decisions is for me uh, hard and i know i'm talking of uh, first uh, world problems but that probably goes with most of my major decisions, uh, whether it is a life, uh, an important decision or a trivial one, I tend to spend the time trying to maximize the outcome, trying to get the most optimal possible. But in doing so, sometimes I've upset someone, you know, somebody wanted to meet me at this date, but I realized that's a bit too expensive. Can we shift, shift this around? Or sometimes I lose a deal. I'm hesitating to buy this thing because I wanted it to be on a special or I want this guy to reduce the price a little bit or I'm still shopping the best deal and the deal is gone and there's no other better deal for the next uh, few months when I want it now. So there are times where I have lost opportunities because I was trying to maximize on the uh, outcomes. Or... I think I'm doing the right choice now, say, if you buy a house and you think, okay, I'm going to buy a cheap house because it's less interest to pay on a mortgage, but it doesn't, for example, appreciate as much as the more expensive house you didn't want to buy, which actually happened to me five years ago, but this house somewhere, and the idea was it's cheap, I can, the mortgage is not going to break my back, but houses are overlooked have 
appreciated it probably 2x. Uh, and I'm not kind of regretting it, but I'm saying it's, it's, it's those sort of choices sometimes you make and you realize it wasn't the best even if at that time it was the best because you didn't have all the information. But the big takeaway here is that it's really hard for me to make a decision. I do agonize a lot when I'm making decisions and I've got a spreadsheets and decision trees and, and calendar notes and diary notes just trying to get the best out of my life. And it's a quite a struggle and sometimes I feel sorry for myself. I feel particularly sorry for people who depend on me because sometimes I'm very erratic where I've decided against A or B and I come back and say, oh, actually that was the best decision, you know, because I, I did the math last night or I learned this information last night. And I think we should or shouldn't do that thing we said that we will or we not do. It's just that chaotic sometimes with my life and uh, I feel sorry for uh, uh, fortunately uh, people in my life do understand and are very flexible and very cooperative but I can see uh, it could lead to some frictions if um, someone is not inclined to accept my floppiness and uh, my indecisiveness sometimes. Yeah, um, there is a reason I'm doing this video, of course, I've got a major decisions to make, which cost, would cost me probably a thousand dollars a week if I make the wrong, the wrong choice. So I, I'm kind of in the middle of that, but that's uh, my need to deal with, but uh, it's just a pattern I've seen in my decision making uh, process. It's always a pain, it's always a um, a hassle it's always a an agonizing process maybe over time i will improve but i'm not sure because there are times i've tried to kind of just pick up a choice and go with it and i regretted it although sometimes i also spend too much time into a decision and i still regretted it so yeah kind of hard to know what to do but uh, this is me if you know any idea on to how to make efficient decision making, please let me know down below. Otherwise, please remember to subscribe and to share this video. Thanks, Tez.